Easy there. Okay there? Hey! Remember to concentrate. What are you doing? Hello. Looks peaceful. You can hear me. Fancy meeting you up here. Am I bothering you? You all right? Don't fall off. <laughs> Am I annoying you? Don't lose your focus. Boo! <laughs> Let's go, girl. Yeah, there we go. Slow up now. Get him.
Easy, easy. Come on, girl. Yep. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Whoa. Easy now. Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money, bastard. You make me go much further, I'll get more than a debt off you. Look, this is mine. as well.
Easy, easy. Okay then, girl. Easy now. That's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> you all right, girl? Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yep. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you.
That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or... Wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, Sonny? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free! Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey, it's whiskey, is this causing the problem? You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand cold, sir. Gin! They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. Was your whiskey made with grain as it is? It leaves the spine brittle. Hence your hobbling chop. Leaves. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. I got that. Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our heads, but they are in our backs too. Oh, oh! I can tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles—they're killing you. That's the spot. Oh, I am. No, it is. Give me a minute, sir. You'll have to. Women. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, mister. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. 
You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Come on! Let's get this thing moving! Why are we going so slow? Yeah. Where are you going? This isn't the way. Okay, then. Boom! Done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good day's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand-pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. Yeah. So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? Oh, ye of little faith. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Slow it up. Get back on the path. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you 
find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved... I Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening. Damn murder! Son of a bitch! Uh. Hey there! 